In this demonstration, we'll look at how to quickly make a decision tree in PowerPoint by customizing templates. We'll use a professional mind map template that you can download on Envato Elements. It's got tons of options and is easy to use too. Before we get started, if you're looking for professional PowerPoint templates, PowerPoint graphics, stock photos, fonts, and more, remember to check out Envato Elements. One low fee gets you unlimited access to an entire library of professional content. Check out the description for more info. Now let's get started in PowerPoint. First thing we'll do is open up our template. You'll notice we have a number of slides here to choose from, each with a different decision tree we can customize. Let's work with this one. We'll begin by selecting the infographic content and then going to Arrange, Ungroup. This ungroups the content so we can move and edit each piece more easily independently. Next, let's get rid of the content here on the left. Click and drag to select it. When the content you want to delete is highlighted, we can just tap delete on our keyboard to remove it. Alternatively, you could also cut this content. As an extra tip, you can create a copy of this document to back it up, just in case you're worried about overriding the original and losing this content. Now let's select our remaining content. Again, click and drag to select multiple pieces of our decision tree here at once. With this content selected, we can click and drag to reposition it on the page. Let's add some new nodes and branches to our decision tree too. From the Home tab, we can easily click Shapes right here to draw a new shape. Let's try out an oval. With the shape I want selected, I can click and drag to draw a new one. We can add some connecting lines in the same way. I'll select a line instead of an oval this time. If your shapes aren't layered in the order you'd like, you can turn to the Arrange menu. For example, I can send this line here to the back, so it's behind my shape now. To customize our lines and shapes, let's turn to the panels here on the right. For example, we can easily change the color. I'll click here to do so. We can choose from our theme colors or other colors too. Let's copy some content here too. We could, for example, use this part of our decision tree to expand some of our ideas. Let's click and drag to select the content and then go to Edit, Copy. Then to paste our copy, just go to Edit, Paste. We can then select and position this content as we would our other design elements. Use these techniques to customize your decision tree in any way you like. Here's a look at a possibility you could try. We also need to edit the text here too, and PowerPoint makes that easy for us. Just double click on any text you'd like to edit. Then type and edit as you would in most word processing software. You can copy and paste existing text to create more or create a new text box. Remember, you can turn to your options on the right to edit things like color and font with your content selected. We can change up the overall color scheme here in the design menu. Just choose a new theme and your work will be updated accordingly. There's so many colors to choose from, so try them out. We can also import images and use them as PowerPoint graphics, which is handy if you'd like to add your logo or branding to your decision tree in your presentation. We can do that by going to Insert, Pictures, Picture from File. After we've selected our image, all we need to do is click and drag to resize and reposition our imported image. And that's it! It's easy to take your mind map or decision tree and work it into your PowerPoint presentation, especially if you have a handy template like this one to help you out. Remember, you can download this template and thousands of others on Envato Elements. They're all included for one low price. Check out the description to get started. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. You can also click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching.